Hello folks. I'm still in Krakow. And today we are visiting the Wawel Castle and the church. Over there. And the castle is back there. And I'm currently in the courtyard. Pretty nice. Look cold, rainy weather. But it's not uh, that cold actually. So it's about uh, zero degrees Celsius. So it's nice. I'm not going in there in the castle because there is uh, about a million people here. I'm not up to it climbing the stairs. I got a little knee problem today and it hurts like hell so I'm staying here in the courtyard. So. Film a little so you can see. It's a little cafeteria there. It's the 30th of December and tomorrow is Christmas Eve, uh, New Year's Eve I mean, so and today is Big day, it's my 50th birthday Which I'm spending here in the courtyard so. but Tonight we're going out to eat, I have booked a table in a, a fun place I think It's a brewery, CK Brewery and I think Let's see if I'm going to film something over there so there. Today I'm just gonna walk around here and check this place out. It's a nice viewing point here, so let's check it out. I went to the barber yesterday and uh, I told him how much I love Krakow because I've been here for a couple of years ago and swore to come back because I felt so good here. There is an energy here that I can't explain and he told me that there is a Bavel Chakra A Bavel Chakra point here and, uh, and the saying is that the Hindu God which I don't remember which one it was now but uh, he or she threw away six or seven chakra stones throughout the world and one of the stones landed here and it's located underneath the, the Vowel Castle and it's supposed to spread out 
or how you call it strong positive energy from beneath the, the castle and uh, and the chakra stones symbios or how you call it with the chakras in the human body and uh, my barber thought that that was maybe the why I feel so good here and uh, some people are more more sensitive to the energy fields here so, so I think I'm one of them because I feel energies wherever I go so that was pretty interesting and it would be also interesting to find out where the chakra stone is located. So. But it's something about this town. I felt this good in two places throughout our travels and it's here and it's in Belgrade, Serbia. I don't think that there is a chakra stone in Belgrade, it's just a whole other, another energy that I feel, and I feel good there. So, check out the view, it's the Vistula River. It's nice during the summertime. Nice during the winter also. So. I brought my drone here, but the weather has, hasn't been very nice, so. and it's brand new, so I don't. I'm not, not so experienced with the drone flying, so I, I'm gonna come back here when the weather is more stable. So. I'm gonna take a flight to around this place. You can see from the it from above. bubble dragon down there and uh, legend says that the dragon live underneath the castle down there and the dragon's bones are still hanging but there's uh, you have to buy a ticket to go go down there and check so let's see if I do that but, uh, should be pretty interesting Amazing architecture. It's 
sometimes it reminds me of Paris. Okay, full circle. Now we're back from at the point where we started. So, pretty nice place. Happy I came. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, see you later. Wow, I almost missed this one. So this is the castle's courtyard. Thank <laughs> you.